On the one hand, I am excited by how far we have come, you know, in the spirit of never waste a good crisis. The pandemic had many silver linings for digital health. Uh, things that we had been waiting for for years suddenly were available almost overnight. Uh, neglected investments in technology infrastructure and that dreaded technical debt were of necessity prioritized. On the other hand, I am still frustrated by the many roadblocks and the uh, bureaucratic hurdles that are often encountered when significant change is on the doorstep. Not that I like biting the hand that feeds me and pays my mortgage, but sometimes my patient hat gets askew as I shake my head. One of the critical things that I care about as, as a patient is that I can trust my health system. That's even more front and center with digital health. I expect my health information to be secure and safe. Equally as critical, I expect it to be complete and accurate, and that all members of my health team have the same complete, accurate information about me when they need to make a decision about me. There are still huge gaps of information in my complete health record. Today, in 2023, when my local grocery store can likely tell me what I had for dinner last night, my family physician probably won't know about my visit to an emergency department or an urgent and primary care center for a few days, if at all. Until, of course, I tell them. My family physician and all of the regional emergency departments and urgent and primary care centers here are fully digitized, but not on a sharing basis with each other. Across Canada and other countries around the world, there are likely concurrent projects underway in health regions that are producing duplicate functionalities and digital health tools. They are all fantastic individual projects. And the operative word here is individual. Decisions are often made in siloed health portfolios with the best of intentions and the worst of outcomes from a patient continuum of care flow. To this day, even with a whole host of technology and digital tools at all my stops along my care journey, I still have to tell the same story, give the same information over and over. And I am often the information glue between my care, care team. This is not the most trust-inspiring experience. Patient, the patient journey in its entirety should always be at the forefront of any digital health decision. It comes back to trust. Providers need to trust that they have everything they need to make a care decision about me. The people designing the digital architectures need to know that the technology they rely on is available and trustworthy. And patients, we need to trust that it all just works. Patients can be your partners in telling this story. Some of this stuff is hard. Believe me, I know because I work in digital health every day. But as I tell the technology teams that I work with, the fact that it's hard is no excuse not to do it. Patients already experience the pain of technical debt every day with systems that don't talk to each other, long wait times, having to tell my story over and over and over. The more I know as a patient about what you are planning to do, why it's hard and how you plan to overcome it, the more trust I have in the future and the more good humor I am willing to invest in the journey along the way. And maybe, just maybe, a little patience too. Thank you.